Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new, my name is Mackenzie. This is a 79 Pontiac Trans Am. This has got the W6 package, a 400 Pontiac engine, and a four speed. Very cool things to share with you on this car. We're gonna go for a drive and get things started. Let you hear this thing. I love these little exhaust tips that go like that. Come on, we'll take a closer look. Smooth, smooth. Uh, I'm gonna go out on a whim and say the W06 package got like a tighter, shorter ratio steering rack here because this thing turns in nicely. Um, clutch feels very good. The trans, this thing just falls into gear. Good old American V8. These Pontiac motors kind of beat to their own drum. Definitely a, a different note than a, a small black Chevy, I guess I'll say. Now, just in a quarter mile or so, we're gonna get this thing up to speed and hit a couple of corners because I think that is where this car shines. Leave from the stop sign here. The, uh, whatever, pivot point of this clutch pedal I think needs to be greased. Just a small little chirp there you can hear. It feels smooth. So we're doing about 50 right now at just over 2,000 RPMs. We got the windows down but you can really have a conversation in this puppy. It's not over the top. Um, the cruise is very smooth. Nothing but good to say. That is sweet. Um, the car is very well planted. I know these got some beefed up suspension components, um, larger sway bars. Well, we're getting to put them to use. This car is nice and low. We got nice wide uh, wheel and tire and all the power we could want. I think this makes us a very fun car. You can throw into a corner and pull hard out of. Uh, makes a lot of torque been a fun a fun driving experience and we're really just getting started a nice crackle pop bang This is a lot of fun. Um, I'm impressed with how it handled, without doubt. I think it's a lot to do with those wheels. But I want to get you an up close look. This car is for sale if I haven't mentioned. And I know a lot of our prospective buyers are busy. It's hard to make a flight out here. So that's why we try to do all these pictures and videos to get you as familiar um, from a distance. So starting up front, these nose cones, they're plastic of some sort. This one shows very well. The paint isn't splintered or spiderweb crack spider web cracked. We have uh, this thing in direct sunlight and I think it shows quite nicely. I see just one little nick there. Um, no cracks or major damage. Our badging, our lenses look great. Our scream and chicken looks gorgeous. The rising phoenix and I got a hood release just under here. Oh yeah. Whoo baby. So, we're very familiar with the internals of this motor because we actually rebuilt the thing. Um, this is the original block. It's a numbers matching drivetrain. It's engine, transmission, and rear end. This is a factory AC car, and you've got power disc brakes and power steering. This thing is loaded up. It's got all the driving amenities you could want, and you can stay cool driving inside of this thing when you don't have your T-tops off. Um, motor was completely gone through, sent the block out. Um, you know, they, they put it in a hot tank, they home the thing, they do whatever they're doing. Um, and it was built back to factory specs. So that is good news. And I think that one uh, costs us just about $12,000 all set and done. So a nice expense you won't have to incur one day. Other than that, we're very stock. The front end is straight. There's no signs of this car ever being hit. I see a brand new Delco battery in here. 
We've got the proper snorkel for the air induction. We've got our shaker hood looking lovely. Um, yeah, this thing's a sweetheart. Closes up good. Um, as far as fitment, I give this thing about a, an eight and a half out of 10. It's really quite nice. These cars with the plastic parts, uh, they move and, and shift over time. This one appears to be cared for very well and I think everything's still very, very straight. And I said eight and a half out of 10. This car brand new off the showroom was probably an eight and a half out of 10 as well. So we're doing very well. Gills look good. There's no bubbling in here like they're known to do. Our graphic looks great. Our fender and door fitment are on point. Um, our little sporty mirror here is looking good and holding on firm. A detail I always thought was funny. I hope the camera can catch that. Four wheel disc brakes. And this has got to be an original piece. You see just a little bit of pitting in there. We got a gorgeous set of the snowflake wheels. These things are uh, very, very stylish. This is the factory styled wheel, just two inches bigger. And if you want them, I still have the factory 15s that came off of this car. And I'd be glad to throw them in. Um, but these are new, as are the BFGs that are wrapped in. And this gives this car a more sporty feel and stance. Out back, we got that spoiler on there. We got our Trans Am graphic. Have our fuel door here. Look at that. Those, this car looks so cool at night from behind. And then as you look down, these are those fun tips I was talking about. I don't know why, but I've always loved those. Um, very nice exhaust system on this car as well. Thing sounds healthy, healthy, healthy. Now, out back in case you were wondering, it's a 275-40 R17. I dig that. And up front, it's a 245-40 R17. Um, front air dam, front of the nose, this fender. This car is very, very straight. Check that out. All right, we have our T-top covers here, and then just a nicely trimmed out trunk. That carpet, um, pretty stock otherwise. Seal looks good. These pockets look great. Um, like I said, there isn't any signs of this thing being whacked. Um, all the Trans Ams I've seen and touched, this one appears to have the factory quarters on it still. Very good, very good. Underside of the deck lid, nice, nice and pretty. There's no bubbling on the underside of this lip. This is a tidy car. All right. Look at all this lovely fabrics. This is just about how it came. I think most of this interior is original. We have one exception, probably being that aftermarket Pioneer head unit. But aside from that, we got a factory tilt wheel. I love this style, by the way. We have our kind of brushed or you know spun aluminum uh, inlay there. We've got a tack going up to 6,000 RPMs. Um, just 82,000 miles on the clock, and those are original, and there's maybe just 100 miles, 200 miles on this fresh motor. Got our AC controls, our couple other gauges. This thing's very much a cockpit in here. Love the shift knob on these. Simple, but quite sexy. Our power window switches, our center console, and our dash pad, which Shows a little bit of its age, but it's free of any cracks. It's just a little bit lifting there in the center, but not bad at all. Our seats are in great condition. These are free of tears. I don't think this car was smoked in. Maybe it has been. I don't know, but there's no odor in here today, and there's no burns that I found. Our headliner, that looks like a million bucks. Headliner looks very good. Our visors look so stout. And I'm jumping all over the place. And out back here, I had a lot of documentation I'll share with you in the latter part of this video. But these rear seats and seat belts look very nice. Nice and firm. Our package tray looks good. We've got a couple Alpine speakers up there to go with our newer head unit. 
And we even have floor mats in here. These are real deal GM mats for uh, our front and rear. The T-top operation, these are the hearse tops. Uh, we'll maybe put a close up in. I think you can see the H and H um, etched into these bits of glass. We release them just like this. Boom, this thing's hot. The other side, same story. These are in great shape. And if you can see it here, we have Hearst right in the, uh, the glass there, which is cool. show you guys some of the documentation that's included with this car. Um, have a copy of original window sticker. Uh, this is the second part, page two. This car had so many damn options. This one was delivered new at Colvin Pontiac and GMC of Denver, Colorado, and originally built in Van Nuys, California. Uh, check this out. We have the original bill sheet. I mean, look at the extensive option codes here. Um, this car is loaded up. Uh, we've covered a few of these throughout and I'm sure I missed one. If you want to look at a close-up of this for more than a second, you can hit pause now or check out the link in the description. We'll have a picture of this in our full uh, listing for the car. And we take it all the way back until 79. This is our car here out in Colorado on the original wheels. And as I mentioned, these still exist and you can have them with the car too if you'd like. I've got receipts for work performed in this car over the years. Um, I won't bore you with it, but if you want to see or know any more details about this, don't hesitate to give us a call. And this is a digital and you know your printed uh, shop manual for the car. If you ever got to perform any work, the previous owner seemed to be a pretty meticulous guy. And we're making it available to you. A couple things to leave you with. One, you can call us anytime for more info on this car or any of our other beautiful rides. It's 248-714-2110. My name is Mackenzie again with LaFontaine Classics in Milford, Michigan. We're happy to help if you want to know about how we can get this car inspected for you, financed, shipped, you name it. We got some answers. And uh, lastly, while you're down here clicking around, we put the link to view the full listing in these descriptions. So check that out. Like, subscribe if you enjoyed. We look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.